Lamborghini have just announced the cutting edge power plant that will be used in its hurricane replacement codenamed the Lamborghini 634. And it's not a V10. And it's not even naturally aspirated. It's a twin turbo V8 hybrid revving to an astronomical 10,000 RPM. Introducing the Lamborghini 634. The 634 ends a whole naturally aspirated V10 lineup for Lamborghini consisting of the Gallardo and all its variants, the Hurricane, the Hurricane Spider, the Hurricane Performante, the Hurricane Evo, the Hurricane Evo Spider, the Hurricane STO, the Hurricane Storato, and the Hurricane Technica. And the Hurricane Technica being the last of the naturally aspirated V10 Lamborghini supercars. We performed a review on the Hurricane Technica. I'll put a link in the comments below. The 634 initializes a whole new hybrid era for Lamborghini and in effect puts an end to its V10 naturally aspirated supercar range. The 634 will compete directly with the Ferrari 296 and the McLaren 750 and will be revealed at the Quail Monterey Car Week in August later this year. Deliveries are expected to start in 2025. The 634 will not be Lamborghini's first implementation of the V8 though. Lamborghini first implemented a V8 in its supercar range for the Uraco, the Silhouette and the Yalpa and this was instigated by the fuel crisis of the 1970s. It was first thought that Lamborghini were going to implement the V8 from the Lamborghini Urus but this isn't the case. Lamborghini are going to design a whole new V8, a whole new hybrid twin turbo V8 from the ground up and this won't be an Audi developed V8, this will be developed in Italy. So this is a Lamborghini designed twin turbo V8, not designed by Audi. The twin turbo V8 will be implementing what's called a hot V design. That means that the twin turbos will be implemented in the V of the V8 of the engine. And that's for compactness and for performance. That means that the twin turbos situated in that position directly in the V will have direct linkage to the engine. So in effect, producing power direct to the engine block. If you were looking to purchase your first supercar or add a car to your collection, Rich Reviews has already helped multiple owners secure their dream supercar. We have a mix and match of services to help take the pain away to ensure a happy, memorable purchase away from the stress that can be caused by car research and dealing negotiations. Our mix and match of services include telephone support calls, pre-purchase inspection and car collection video. For more information, please contact me via a message in the comments below or at the following email address. Now back to the video. Now to the information you've all been waiting for, the specification of that twin turbo hybrid V8. The combustion engine alone of the twin turbo hybrid V8 produces 789 brake horsepower and 538 pound foot of torque. In addition, there's three axial EV motors. One of those motors is configured and situated just behind the gearbox directly connected to the crankshaft. And that alone produces 148 brake horsepower and 221 pound foot of torque. In addition, there's two electrical motors that are situated on the front axle, but at the moment it's unknown what performance and what specification those motors are. However, we do know that the whole configuration of that hybrid V8 twin turbo power plant produces in excess of 900 brake horsepower and revs to an incredible astronomical 10,000 RPM. The accolades are already coming in for this incredibly designed Lamborghini power plant. 10,000 redline RPM fastest revving eight cylinder ever, highest brake horsepower per litre ever of 197 brake horsepower per litre. That is incredible. It's unknown at the moment how that 900 plus brake horsepower will be delivered to the wheels with respect to its torque configuration, but it's perceived it will be configured in a linear format similar to racing tuned engines. We can see that with the design of this incredible V8 twin turbo hybrid V8 that they're really taking the game, they're really taking the fight to Ferrari and McLaren. If you enjoyed the video so far, please give the video a thumbs up, give it a like, very important for our channel. And if you like our style of content, please think about subscribing. Now back to the video. To go through some key design features now for the 634, the 634 will be built on the same production line as the Lamborghini Revuelto, and it will implement certain key design features of the Revuelto as well, such as a mono fuselage, 
and a carbon fiber monocoque. However, don't expect all the composite features of the Rev Welto to be implemented in the 634 because there will be certain cost cutting, there will be certain aluminium parts replacing certain composite parts that were implemented in the Rev Welto. We know very little about the exterior and the interior of the Lamborghini 634 at the moment because Lamborghini have not officially released any information. We can only go by certain images that we have of camouflage mule vehicles. However, we do know that Lamborghini are implementing a small capacity traction battery to power the hybrid system of the 634 and this is located in a transmission tunnel. Going by the mule car camouflage shots that we have at the moment, we can say that the 634 will have certain spaceship style design features similar to the Rev Welto. Of course, it will be a shorter wheelbase than the Rev Welto as with the Hurricane platform. Going from the little information we can extract from these camouflage mule shots, you can see looking at the front of the 634 that the headlights are a very slim design. But if you look behind those camouflage shots, if you look deeper into those camouflage shots, you can see that the glass seems to have hexagonal shape. Also, the indicators are a hexagonal shape as well. In addition, we believe those indicators double up as driving lights. Moving to the side profile of the 634, you can see it heralds back to the Hurricane in its design, but also the Gallardo with its side rear intakes to the engine. Moving to the rear of the car, we can't really see much from these camouflage images because it just the camouflage pretty much obliterates all the design from the rear. However, we can see that it seems to bring across the same centralized exhaust design feature as implemented in the Lamborghini Murcielago, although extruded out a lot wider. So there it is. That's pretty much all the information we have at the moment regarding the Lamborghini 634. Officially, Lamborghini have only announced the information with regards to the new V8 twin turbo hybrid power plant. They haven't officially announced any information with regards to the exterior or interior design. So what's your thoughts on Lamborghini killing off the historical V10 power plant to move across into the hybrid era? Let me know in the comments below.